Hello, Mina. I'm Chris Wilson, and in this tutorial, we will be covering Mina staking and delegation. If you'd like to know more about staking with Figment, you can follow the link below. Now we can jump into the nitty gritty of delegating and staking with Mina. If you're technically savvy and have a hardware wallet, we've included how to delegate to Mina using CLI. If you're new to operating a hardware wallet, we've got some instructions on setting up ledgers and SafePal wallets. As of right now, neither Ledger nor SafePal software supports staking with Mina, but not to worry. You can still delegate anyway following these instructions via CLI. Now, if you're not technically savvy, we have found a way that you can delegate and stake without using a single line of code. For this, we will use the web wallet Clorio created by Carbonera of WeState Club. Clorio is an open source wallet for Mina protocol built with JavaScript. With Clorio, you can interact with the Mina blockchain by generating slash using your private key or by using the Ledger hardware wallet. Clorio wallet doesn't send your private key out of the client app. All the transactions are signed in local or on your Ledger device. The nature of Clorio is self-custodian. This means that you are the only one responsible for safekeeping your private key. We cannot recover your lost keys or block transactions, and we take no responsibility for software malfunctions. You are essentially your own bank here. On Clorio, you can create a regular wallet, and it will give you a public slash private key pair that you need to keep safe. Clorio offers the possibility to download a paper wallet when you create your wallet for added security, and I highly recommend doing that currently. The implementation is not the best because you have to handle the private key everywhere via copy paste. And the team is waiting for a feature in the Mina SDK that will enable them to provide users with the mnemonic seed like many popular wallets. They are also evaluating how to improve this and eventually store the key in the session if the user agrees. So no more copy paste, but this is still being evaluated and every change needs to be reviewed from a security standpoint. So keep your eyes peeled for the updates. As for now, we will use a notepad text file to help us get going. Feel free to use whatever is most comfortable for you. So we can go ahead and head over to Clorio and set up our web wallet. All right, so once you get to the landing page here, you can access your wallet, your Mina wallet, if you already have a private key. If you don't have a private key, you can create a new wallet or access with your ledger. Uh, in order to access with your ledger, you will want to follow the steps below to add the Ledger Mina app to Ledger. Uh, as of right now, Ledger does not currently support Mina uh, natively, but you can add that through your command line interface. So what we want to do is create the wallet. Now, creating the wallet will generate your address. That is where you can receive funds and then your private key, which is how you will sign transactions and manage your funds. Never share this private key with anyone. And for the sake of this demo, I'm using an account that I have no funds on. This is the only time you are going to see your passphrase and your private key. So make sure you have a copy of them. If you lose your private key, you will not be able to access your funds anymore, which can be a really sad day. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and we're just gonna throw that in the text file so that I have them now. And then we can go ahead and can we can download, we can also download our copy here. So we'll go ahead and save our paper wallet. And then we also have our backup text file. And now it wants us to verify our private key. So we can go back over here, copy our private key, make sure there's no space at the end. And then we can hit continue, access the wallet. All right. Now we are inside of our wallet. As we can see, we have no Mina, not available because this is for demo purposes. But now we want to stake. We can go to the staking hub right here. And for delegations, we're going to go to custom delegation. And now here it's going to ask us to put in our public key that we want to delegate to. 
And here is where we are going to put an Figment's public key right here. So we can copy that and then come over to our wallet and paste that in. We'll confirm it. It'll ask us for a fee. We can go average or fast. We will proceed. And then now it'll ask us for our private key again. Make sure there's no space at the end. We can insert that and confirm. And here we'll see that I do not have enough funds. But if I did have the funds, you would see the amount that you chose would, would come off of your MENA total. And when you hover, it'll show what's liquid, meaning what you can still move around, and then locked. That'll be delegated and staked MENA. So after you do that, you can check here to make sure that it is in fact done. And that's it. That is how easy it is to stake with Cloria. Very easy. Again, you sign in, insert the public key, confirm, insert your private key, and you're good to go. Now, if you're technically savvy and have a hardware wallet, we've also included how to delegate to Mina using CLI. If you're new to operating a hardware wallet, we've got some instructions on setting up ledgers and SafePal wallets. So say you are technically savvy and you'd rather use your ledger and command line interface for a little extra security. What you're going to need to do is click on the generate key pair. And then when you come down here, you're going to want to click on adding the MENA repo. That's going to be the very first step for you. And then you can follow whatever system you're on, on how to get the MENA repo. And then once you have the MENA repo, you can install it. Now, I do highly recommend using 18.04 on Ubuntu. That is what was the easiest for me out of all of these ways to do it. And then you're also probably going to have to change your UDEV settings, which is all covered in here if you're into that kind of thing. And if you need any help, they have a Discord server, and so does Figment, and we'd be more than happy to help you. You can reach out to Calico Kitten Cat. He has spent quite a bit of time working on this. And note, there is a two to four week delay, also known as a latency period, before your new stake delegations come into effect. As always, if you had any trouble with this walkthrough or would like further assistance staking with us and Fiona or just need help staking with CLI or using Clorio, we're here to help you. So feel free to reach out to support at figment.io or join our Discord in the link down below. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.